Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> Hello folks and welcome to Inkdependence.com. I am Mike and this is the Franklin Christoph 45. Now you might be saying to yourself, hey Mike, I clicked on a Model 46 video, what are you doing? Well, let's start with the 45, because that's where the 46 came from. So this is uh, when I picked up in Atlanta when I was still an IPO for the 45. This is a great little pocket pen and it goes with me a lot of the time. Uh, in fact, it's like one of my top two pocket pens. I might have another fountain pen that's in the same sort of like, I like it range, but this is hard to beat. Uh, it has a nice little taper here at the top and the bottom. It's got just a tiny little step here at the, the barrel. Uh, I think it's a very nice little uh, configuration. And when you unscrew this guy, you've got uh, block threads down here. You've got a cap that posts perfectly. And when you post it, man, that is super nice, right? Uh, it's uh, just the perfect length for taking notes and that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got a rollerball on this one. How cool is that? I got that from uh, my friend Jonathan. I'm trying that out. But it usually comes with a number five nib, of course. Franklin Christoph doesn't do that uh, that rollerball, and I, you know, I get it. <laughs> so uh, there are only a couple of complaints that somebody might have about the Model 45. The first one is that it's too short to take a converter. You have to have a cartridge or an eyedropper in this. It just doesn't. It's not the right size for a converter. So they made the 45 long to fix that problem. It's yay much longer. I don't have one on hand to show you, uh, but same same everything except for it's just a skosh longer so you can throw a converter in there. Uh, the other thing that people might complain about possibly is that it's a number five nib. I know there are some people that have a strong preference towards a number six nib and I get it. Number six nib gets you further away from the page. It changes your writing angle. It's got a little bit of more tipping real estate, but other than that, you know, it's pretty much, uh, you know, number five is a perfectly good nib. But if you want to get the bigger nib, now there's an option. This is the Franklin Christoph number 46. This was introduced at the Philly Pin Show. This is one of the IPO pens. Uh, I think they are done selling these online. The IPO is over. Uh, as far as overall look, man, this is the same kind of thing as the 45. It is the same shape. It is just a different size in every dimension. It's bigger in every way. Uh, so let's take a look at that. You can see there's the taper at the top of the cap. There's a taper at the bottom there. And uh, that means that when you post it, like the interior of this cap matches the back. And so it posts perfectly. They did a really good job with that engineering bit. Along the cap, the only real details, the only branding here is it says uh, Franklin Christoph. Here, you can probably see it as I turn it in the light there. And then it says number 46, that's model 46. All Franklin Christoph pens have their model on the cap. It also says IPO because this is an, in an initial pen offering. And then at the very top of the cap, let's see if I can get it to focus. And then at the top of the cap, you have the uh, the Franklin Christoph logo there and the four diamonds. But aside from that, no other branding here. Also, you'll notice that this is a pen that does not take uh, or does not come with a clip. They don't clip this one. There's no space in the cap, frankly, for a clip, and that's fine. You can buy aftermarket clips uh, from a number of vendors. I can't tell you one off the top of my head. I've seen people get like you know, octopuses and stuff to go around here from like Amazon. There's a guy who makes them out of silver, all kinds of options, but uh, I just go clipless and throw it in a pen sleeve. So that's how I carry these guys. Or I just throw it in my pocket, honestly, because this pen is tough. It is a tough little guy. All right. Uh, other stuff, when you open it up, again, you have the block threads up here at the front, which is a very nice place for them because when you hold the pen, they are out of your way. And even if you do hold it like super low for some reason, the, uh, the threads are nice and flat. These block threads are great stuff, and I, they should be everywhere, honestly. You have a little bit of a step here, uh, but that tends to be kind of rounded off and uh, not uncomfortable. When I hold it, I tend to hold it like this, uh, which is maybe a bit odd, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, and so a little bit of my meat of my fingers on this, uh, this lip, but not a big deal. It just gets a little bit rounded off when they polish stuff, and uh, it feels good in all these pens. So there you go. You can see it there, too. All right, uh, this one takes a number six nib, obviously, and this is one of those shadow nibs. Having it a number six gives you access to shadow nibs. Of course, you've also got all the Masayama nibs. You've got the SIG nibs that my wife Audrey is doing. Uh, full disclosure, my wife Audrey works at Franklin Christoph. This does not alter my review in any way. I just tell it like it is. Uh, and, uh, you know, you've got all kinds of options, up through music nibs even. And also, number six nibs come on all kinds of pens from with these Yovo nib units. They're easy to unscrew. You just unscrew this nib unit, and it comes right out. So, 
Uh, number six, pretty good nib unit, and also I think it gives me it gives me the right distance from a page. This right here is a Sig nib. We'll do a little writing sample later. Um, although, I mean, you can get whatever nib you want on this guy. It's one of the huge bonuses. Obviously, this is going to be big enough to hold a converter. There you go. No problem there. In fact, the barrel of this one is most of the size of a 45. So a uh, good sized barrel on here. You can also, of course, eyedropper this or use a cartridge if you like. Uh, eyedroppering it just means you need a little bit of silicone grease on these threads, and that's kind of it. On the other hand, I wouldn't eyedropper a straight up black pen because it is opaque and you can't see through there and you have no idea how much ink you have. Uh, and that's a yeah, that's a pet peeve of mine. I like to be able to know how much ink. I got most of a barrel here, or most of a converter, so I'm good. Um, as far as other stuff, this will post perfectly. A lot of people think you need to just like jam that on there. You don't. I mean, I just sort of went like that, and that was, uh, there we go. You can feel it really takes a little bit of oomph to take it off, but it doesn't take much to put it on there. And then when you post it, perfectly usable posted. It's a little bit long, uh, I think, but, um, you know, it's very well balanced because the cap is so small. I mean, it's not going to, it doesn't add any real weight. There's no metal in there from a clip or anything like that. All right. So good looking, good feeling pen, classic black. This is black on black uh, because it was really screaming for this shadow nib that I had laying around. I'm like, yeah, perfect. I'm glad I have one of those spare. Um, as far as, uh, you know, we can set it up next to, uh, let's use this one because it has a regular nib in it. Uh, there we go. There's your pens, there's your relative sizes for the 45 and the 46. It's a much larger pen, it's not really a pocket pen. Uh, and then posted, posted, if you wanna have, if you have a 45 and you're like, I wonder how long this thing is. Posted, the 45 is a little bit longer, just a skosh longer than the 46 is capped. Uh, uncapped, we've got uh, pretty similar lengths here. Well, let's light up the nibs, there we go. Pretty similar lengths, posted of course. It's gonna be a good bit longer because it just is a bigger pen. Just all around. All right. Uh, and then you can really see the difference between number five and number six nibs. In case you're not sure what I mean by number five and number six nibs, uh, here is that primer. Uh, the number five nib on this orange pen right here is just a smaller nib. When you say number five or number six for Yovo nibs and Bach nibs and things like that, Schmidt, what they're referring to is the size across this uh, this collar here at the nib, where the nib goes like goes like this around the feed, right? So this distance, five or six uh, millimeters. So not particularly large, right? All right, we'll have full dimensions and such for this 46 uh, at the end of the video. I'll put up a little card like I did last time for a pin video. That worked pretty well. All right, let's look at it next to a bunch of other pens. Let's do a quick writing sample and that'll be it. So firstly, the Franklin Christoph 45, the pocket version. This is the 46. My uh, very favorite Franklin Christoph, the model 40, which is a little bit rare here next to it. Just a skosh longer, maybe a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the finial is about the only side, thing that's bigger there. Then you have the, uh, the Platinum 3776. This is the Nice Pure version. And then next to that, you have this here, uh, Diplomat Arrow, which is around the same size actually. As a, as a 46. So if you like that arrow size, you're gonna like the 46 size just fine too. Also the Pilot Vanishing Point, also the uh, 1911 from Sailor, which is just a little bit, uh, well actually they're just about exactly the same length. So if you have a 1911 sitting around, that's the same length. Good, cool. Uh, and then next to that, the uh, venerable Lamy 2000, which is right about the same size as our 46 here. Uh, and then of course, uncapped and all that jazz, you'll have different sizes, but um, I don't think we need to exercise that right now. If there's a particular one you wanna know how that stacks up, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's do a quick writing sample. Okay, so this is the uh, Model 46. Let's go ahead and post it there for funsies. So this is the Franklin Kristoff. Model. Whoops, not 44. 46. Blah, start over 46. Four, six. There we go. Finally got it right. And this is, uh, what size is this? This is a medium SIG. Uh, which is uh, one of my two favorite nibs. I really love the medium SIG and I love the broad SIG. Those will give you a nice, uh, thick ish vertical and a really thin uh, horizontal while also remaining smooth throughout. Just a, just a fantastic nib. Uh, I love these things. My wife Audrey is making these. Um, other stuff, uh, I actually don't remember what ink is in this. 
but uh, I want to say it's probably um, Liar Bird. Blue Black. Which is an ink from Krishna Inks that I've been uh, testing out in here and I actually really like. It's a good flowing ink. It looks nice. It's not boring. But uh, the 46 here is a really cool pen. So as far as uh, pros and cons, so pros, <laughs> feels like a bigger pen. This just is a larger pen than the 45. So if the 45 is just a little too small for you, I get it. I've got big hands too. And uh, this is a very comfortable pen to use. Uh, as far as other posts or other pros, it posts perfectly. Really nice posting. You can take it on and off pretty easily, but it also uh, you know sticks, uh, which is cool. And you get the number six nib and all the options that that affords you. You can get these in silver and black and all that jazz we talked about. Cons. I don't really have many cons for this pen. Um, I guess it doesn't get sold with a clip. Like, that's a con for some people. I mean, some people hate clips to begin with, but there's not really a place for a clip on here unless you get one of the aftermarket ones that cinches around the cap. Uh, some of those, I'm sure, would work. I, I don't ever do that, so I don't have any to show you. But um, clipless, this works just fine. You can put it in one of their pen sleeves or your favorite pen case or just throw it in a pocket because these things are tough little guys. Um, so that's all I've got for cons, honestly. Um, as far as price, when this one comes off IPO, uh, it says online this will cost $1. $50. So $150 is not bad. It puts it uh, kind of in the low medium range for the Franklin Christoph pens. A lot of those are in like the $165, $175 range. Uh, of course, the $45 is less because it's a little pocket pen, but uh, $150 is a perfectly good price for this pen. It's got a good feel to it. It's got a good girth. It's got a good weight. It uses the good number six nibs. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about the number 46. I think that Scott really uh, hit it out of the park with the design on this one. And, uh, man, good job. All right, so that's that. That is all. Uh, hang around if you want to see dimensions on this guy. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit up that Patreon if you want to become uh, part of the, the uh, Ink Dependence family there and help support the blog and what I do. Uh, and I will see you all later on. Peace out.